we have on the podcast you today? You got me. It's me in the holes. Let's go, dude. <laughs> I know, you, you walk in and you're like, hey, hole, how are you? <laughs> how are you doing, hole? Dude, are you doing good? How's your life? <laughs> yeah, dude. Struggling. Struggles, dude. Struggles. Struggle bus. Struggle bus, bro. Are you yeah. talking dude. to our buttholes or to us right now? Dude, mostly your buttholes. So, that's a struggle, too. You want to know why? Because I have two, <laughs> two uh, blonde hairs On that are... Literally, it's like a flap over my asshole. That's like so, like in the light when I bend over, I can see it glisten over the hole, and I can't get them. I have to use like a straight razor. That's I said we just pluck dude. them before I'll the pluck pod. Your ass. You want to do it? Yeah, I'll pluck you. Bring your asshole over here. I'll pluck. Those right <laughs> Let's out of go. There. Let's get it done. You want me? I'll do it. I don't give a fuck, dude. <laughs> Should I? <laughs> Yeah, let's get the tweezer. Yeah, get your tweezers, pull your asshole out, and I'll fucking pluck your ass. There we go. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> okay. Live I mean, he convinced pod, me. Dude. Dude, have you seen Jamie's asshole before? Yes. I didn't I've know. I've lived with her for four years, dude. Dude, I could live with a guy for four years, never see his the asshole. The first three months we lived together, I showed her my butthole. Yeah, that's a girls love to be like, here's my butthole, here's my pussy, here's my tits. Well, if it looks good, why not show it yeah, off? Yeah, you're like, they love, but dudes, yeah, we're not showing each other. You've our never fucking, seen your buddy's dick? No, never. None of your friends? No. And you never wanted to? No. Why would I want to see their dicks, Sometimes dude? I'm curious about my friend's dicks. Yeah, no, you're dude. Like a, flashlight. a flashlight? Give me a flashlight. <laughs> Get on in there, you Jay. One? Razor. Dude, you got the razor? Oh, I'm not. Pl I'm. I'm going in. No, I don't want to go with the razor. I want to go with the tweezers. I don't even know if you can see them. Well, I don't want to go like in two. here. Let me get my light out here. All right, let's see this. Let's see this shit. And I don't. I don't want to go in there with it. Yeah. Put a blanket up? No, I'll just block you out. Yeah, dude. We'll fucking edit it in post. <laughs> let's see this. Asshole. All right, let's see this butthole, dude. We oh. got Doctor oh, Dorena. Oh, yeah, I see it. Oh, there's more than two. Let me no, there's you. more than two? There's more than two in there, dude. <laughs> you got fucking... Get on in there, Jay. Those cheeks. Let's right. go. That's going to hurt. Okay. Be gentle. There's one. Okay, I think I got that one. You have to blow on them. You can't get rid of them. It's oh, like eyelashes. I got one out of there. I definitely got one at least. Oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> There's a couple dark ones in here too, though. Yeah, like, dude, you did a patch job on this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, dude. Do you want to keep these? You got to blow on that. Make a wish. Here, let me see. Are they still on there? Yeah. No. <laughs> Go. Welcome I back, Jay Do the asshole yet? I was waiting for later. You're waiting for later to shave your ass, dude. To get yeah. that fucking. If you, you know up. what they say? If you wait for later to shave your ass, later never comes. Later never comes. Later never comes. Okay. I'm, I'm glad we asshole. can. Um, I'm glad we're close. Like yeah. this, dude. I'm fine with uh, lady body hair. Like if it's like I think a hairy arm. I think that's why I'm hot. close with. I, that's why I'm not. Cl I'm comfortable with you doing yeah, it. I, I was like, yeah, hey, whatever. He's probably seen way worse, dude. For sure, dude. I like a hairy puss for sure. Like, like how hairy? Like I like it when it's kind of like they got like the arrow kind of pointing down. It's like the full triangle at the top, but it's like trimmed down. I like that a lot. What trimmed down like a buzz cut or trimmed down long? Lint, trimmed down like furry. So like, hair on here, but not on the lips. No, I'm not crazy about hair on the lips, but if it's on the lips, I'm like, whatever. You'll dude. go to town? Yeah, you go to town. You do your job. Yeah, you forgot yeah. to floss that day. Dude, you know, some, you just get on in there. Some days you show up to work and it's raining and you fucking do your job, okay? You don't complain. You get your shit done. <laughs> That's how do it you, works. Do you eat pussy with every girl you fuck? Uh, pretty much, yeah. The, this girl I fucked recently, Amen. I didn't eat her pussy because she was all, like on a heavy flow period. So we were fucking and like we were putting down towels and shit and there's like blood everywhere i was like fucking her in the shower and then there's like blood clots just like pluck, 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 and just falling out of her fucking puss what if she dude. had a miscarriage dude maybe she did i don't know it's not for me to ask <laughs> he killed that baby <laughs> i killed that fucking <laughs> abortion baby. Yeah. by jade arena yeah, dude i'll do that for free dude you don't gotta go <laughs> i to might need your help because yeah. i don't know if i'm pregnant or not yeah you might be pregos which is nuts dude yeah i literally made love it was great made love it wasn't like we didn't fuck like we <laughs> made passionate passionate love That's it was amazing <laughs> He's like, fuck that. Dude, and, okay. and so I was like, okay, this is so good. So it wasn't rough because I've no. had rough sex and bled after. Yeah, yeah. And then like two days later, bleeding it up. I'm bleeding and it's like, didn't it's been 10 days and it hasn't stopped. Dude, that's, that's why you can't have love sex because you get pregnant. You're Dude, like, is that what it is? Is that yeah. like my body was like, baby now are you on birth control i have a copper iud okay you should be fine that could be what's causing your bleeding 
You think? But I mean, I don't know. Because I haven't had sex. I didn't have sex for like three months. I mean, I don't know. The person I had sex with before, I bled to, but their dick was like. Coosh, coosh, coosh. Yeah. Hammerhead. Yeah, just beating up the back walls. Here yeah, it was. Dude. He's he just was aggressive. In, just fucking stretching everything out. Uh, yeah, dude. I can feel I where feel you like plucked. That's what dicks I can feel like. where you plucked the hair. Where I plucked your hairs. How many? Rest. There's a lot in there. There was like at least seven. At least seven, and not all blonde. Some dark guys. You gotta go. You gotta fuck. I have to like be in there. You well. You gotta go back to that guy who lasered your ass and be like, hey, why does there still dark hairs on my ass? Right there should. I've got laser for like a year and a half, and I should be hairless. And there's hair growing everywhere. Still, dude. What's your What's your background? I'm Irish. You're Irish. You're sure there's no like fucking Italian in there? Or something? I don't. I don't think so. I think I'm Irish and Scottish. Okay. I have like pussy my hair like an Italian though. I'm Irish, but I got pussy hair like. An Armenian bitch? I don't know. Yeah, dude. You have pussy hair like Yeah, you Armenian. are very hairy. I'm what are very you? hairy. What's your name? Uh, who's that? Uh, Dua Lipa's Armenian. Good time to be Armenian. Oh. Yeah. Or Dua so Lipa's basically hot. you're Dua Lipa, so it's hot. Yeah, dude. Tell Dua Lipa. Be like, we got the same pussy hair. You should message her I'm on I'm going to message her right now. Yeah. You think she'll respond? Yeah, she'll be like, for sure. Like, sick girl. Love it. Love <laughs> it. Armenian puss, dude. She's like, yes, pussy queen. Yeah. Go off, girl. Dude, there's not a lot of, like, uh, arm, like there's her, and then there's the fucking uh, system of a down, guys. Though so That's, like, all the Armenian. I thought you were going in a totally different direction with down. What? Well, down? What? You going to say down syndrome people? Is that I what I would thought? never say that shit. You would never? No. You don't like downies? I love You're the downies. you downie No, dude, I look like I got down syndrome. A little bit. <laughs> You're a little down. <laughs> like a test tube baby or yeah, something. Yeah, just like yeah, a little dude. girl. Can you calm down? That's the cat. For Do you ever see those listeners. videos of like girls with Down syndrome, but they're like stacked? Yeah, yeah, they have dude. The I've fat been talking asses. about it on stage. They came out of nowhere. They like literally like. They're all getting fit and everyone's like, I would. It Do was, you think but, it's a compound V? It, compound V getting in the water, making these fucking downies mm-hmm. hot. Mm-hmm. It, but it was like two, three years ago where they just, I think it was the fucking Victoria's Secret thing. When Victoria's Secret was like, we're going to have a Down syndrome model. Then that kind of reverberated through society where like, okay, we're going to make people with Down syndrome hot sometimes. Uh, and then did you see- Sometimes. Sometimes. Not some, always. Not always. Like Definitely the ones, not. The ones we can like kind of spruce up, we're going to spruce them up. Do you think that's where like the downfall of our society started is when Victoria's Secret- brought in inclusive models no i think i feel like we're cooking right now i feel like we're cooking i think it's just yeah no we're cooking like things are good it's just where you look like the old institutions are dying so it's like oh is victoria's secret still the place where like the new hot shit is happening no but there's like thousands of super hot rockets online all the time like hotness the concept of hot hasn't changed like some people i feel like there's more hot people now yeah and like jerry seinfeld was like oh you can't like say anything on tv like you can make Seinfeld today it's like yeah but how many like sketch things on the internet are like pushing the boundaries or like Instagram yeah. accounts are like really fucking doing edgy super funny shit I love that we're bringing back edgy humor where we can talk about like yeah bad words exactly dude it's like yeah you can't do that on cable television anymore but it's like fuck that it's like it just exists I feel like they're starting places. to yeah. I feel like the 90s style of humor is coming back and I love it I think because they're getting like a little bit desperate like people like all the stuff that was happening with like Star Wars and all that stuff and people were, like it's too woke and stuff and it's like it's like I like like pro- like things changing and becoming progressive and stuff to a certain point but it's like when you're when you take something like star wars which is just supposed to be like literally we're, we're in space with fucking space swords and you're like we're gonna have like a political message and it. it's like no, no no this isn't the place for that this is for like dumb shit this yeah. is my popcorn fucking high fructose corn syrup i just want to shove in my fucking face I, if you this isn't like the place to make a point also making a point here doesn't do anything dude make a point on like a political stage it makes people shit. more angry than like yeah help like, the po- i came problem. here to forget bro yep. i came here to forget that's, that's how i feel about comedy though because mm. oh, yeah. like i hear people and they they're afraid to take risks on stage because of getting in trouble and i'm like this isn't fun and then you see somebody take a risk and go absolutely balls to the wall like a not offensive in like a really offensive way but in a smart way and you're like i'm like oh i live for this yeah shit. dude and also when you look at the people who've like got can like canceled in quotations but the people who've had like controversies those are some of the biggest people right now yeah. tony like, hinchcliffe yeah. with the yeah. the chinese guy tony hinchcliffe huge Make, shane huge and like, then yeah and then he chinese now he's guy. on the fucking roast on netflix yeah dude it's like murdering dude a controversy gets you like so much fucking free press bad press is good press Brad press is good press like you'll have to maybe lay low for a bit but if you bounce back you just have to like play it in the right angle like you have to if it's like yeah obviously if you're doing something that's like super fucked up and illegal yeah you're not gonna bounce back from i lost like 600 followers 
after my civil war after the civil war clip what do you what do you say about the civil war <laughs> she said something like we were talking about uh the civil war and i was like yeah that was like 60 years ago and i thought and she was like do you mean the civil rights movement and i was like oh because we were arguing about when the civil war was and yeah. it was just us super high being stupid people yeah. got angry really you people were like not happy they were like these dumb white bitches i think it was also during black history month <laughs> <laughs> so it was just bad timing that's, so that's funny. perfect timing that's perfect timing but also it's like what do you uh, why are you coming to me for these things i don't know these things no we're we talk fun- about dildos and i just let a man pluck hairs out of my asshole live on the pod guys and if you want to see the uh un filter view you have an only fans now right like yeah, just a tag i mean yeah you can tag me on an only fans for I sure just, we could i could tag you and actually not have anything covered. yeah yeah, yeah. oh Dude, there totally, we go totally show your fucking full asshole the on exclusive the only fans. on only no they fans. always ask for my asshole but i don't like my asshole so <laughs> I, I am afraid of it it's fine i just looked at it I, yeah. I don't I've know why worse. I don't I've seen way worse assholes. Why are you acting like it's bad? No, I didn't say it. You're like <laughs> I've I seen it's worse. Fine. It's not good, but it's I've seen worse. I just said it's fine. Like I didn't think it was like nobody it wants to hear their asshole being called just fine. Well, it's like it was a regular asshole. You're it supposed was to be like, like I want to stick my tongue deep inside that. Dude, yeah, I'll eat it for sure, dude. Yeah, <laughs> but also me saying I'll eat it isn't like a like if someone's like no like, one's thinking anything of yeah, that. Dude. They're like he'd eat anything. He'd eat anything <laughs> you would dude. eat an asshole off the sidewalk like, if some girl was trying to be like you'd fuck me i'm like dude i'd fuck dude i'd fuck you and worse dude like what are you talking about i'd fuck you that's not if anything that's bad for you that i'd fuck you why <laughs> well because i'd fuck anybody it's not a compliment if someone says like oh would, would you really fuck, you. fuck anybody though not anybody but i fucked some like shit where i'm like oh dude where's I, the where's the limit at so there was i won't name the city because i don't want to insult these people because they were name nice it, people no it. no but i was in some city and then uh this girl was messaging me and i remember looking at her after the show and being like she doesn't I don't remember being hot after the show, but the pictures she sent me were hot. And mm-hmm. I was like, all right, come over. And then I had another one lined up for like an hour and a half after she was supposed to come. And so she came over and when she got there, I was like, not cute, not cute at all. Uh, but then I'm like, well, I'm going to do it anyways. And like, so then I fuck her and we're like making out. She tastes like cigarettes. Um, and then she leaves. But the other girl's like, she's cute. She shows up, not cute either. Fucking super filtered pictures. And so I'm like, whatever, I'm going to fuck her too. <laughs> and then I fuck her also tastes like cigarettes. Uh, so I'd like back to back i remember coming down because i told the comics what like that during that weekend i was like oh i got like a back to back happening and i come down for us to go to the show they're like hey how was it and i was like dude literally two pigs back to back fucking huge loss on the day <laughs> <laughs> oh no yeah. like, they were nice it's fine i don't want to insult them personally they won't know i'm talking about them but yeah how was- many uh how many times have you gotten chlamydia since we've seen you last none none i've been rinsing my dick after sex and i don't catch it anymore that's the secret guys don't listen to anything anyone else tells you about stds just rinse your dick in a sink after you have sex you'll never catch chlamydia that's <laughs> says true the, says the man who <laughs> got chlamydia a doctor. seven times so I, dude but i'm like i did the test though like, i haven't I, got chlamydia either since the last time you were here good for you that's and great. honestly maybe that's why well that makes one of us yeah <laughs> and we you got, got it? I got chlamydia. oh yeah really I, I got oral chlamydia oral chlamydia that's way throat worse throat chlamydia dude you, you know they don't test for that no yeah, yeah you need to get swabbed in your mouth to yeah I got just I just got swabbed in my asshole so you're good okay. <laughs> and, and um I hate that it was dry they don't even it's give you it's always dry no yeah they don't lose. I well, tried to can't. pull it I tried to pull the thing out of my asshole and it was like stuck it was like a Chinese finger trap it just goes like oh, whoop dude. and it was like pulling and I was like no this is miserable so I had to do like the push pull method Ugh. Jesus Get it Christ, out. Miss Dry Ass over here. What am I supposed to have a wet asshole? Who has a wet so. butt? I think that Jay, would be, what, what more you got appealing. going on over there? You got swass? I don't have always have swass, but when I think about I don't but want when to I picture do have your swass. dry ass, I guess. That's just so you gotta sp- hawk to in yeah, that. Yeah, you gotta hawk your ass, dude. <laughs> you saw hawk to a girl? Oh yeah, everyone saw hawk to a girl. Hawk to a girl is a fucking uh, American icon right now. She's a would legend. you? Yeah. Would I yeah, I'd fuck hawk to a girl for sure. I bet she's a great time, dude. She seems fun. She she's a pastor's like, daughter, too. So, oh, you know, pastor? yeah, she's a pastor's daughter. She I lost her job. That. Yeah. She's a pastor's daughter. So it was like a whole thing. Yeah. But now she's on stage with the Zach Brown band. 
Yeah. Did you see that? Did yeah. she sing? Life changed. Or she just sucking their dick. She was like on stage. She was singing along and stuff. Ha-tua. She's she's just, she's just great. Like, I think everyone looked at that and was like, it was just like a nice moment. It was just like, she's just like fucking, it wasn't like overly dirty. She was just like, yeah, this is cool. This is a good thing. This that is a good just thing shows, goes to show like sucking dick can get you far. Yeah, dude. It can. It's gone. And sucking good dick. Fucking, what's her name? Uh, Monica, Monica Lewinsky. Lewinsky. Boom. Look yeah, at that. Yeah, but then you're known for the dick you suck. Yeah, she got caught sucking dick. You want you got to suck dick covertly. You yeah. Suck did dick she openly. really, did somebody like open up the oval mid sex? Like, how know. did that happen? I don't, I've never seen a doc or anything on how it got busted, but she, I don't know how she got caught, but yeah, you got to suck dick in the shadows. That's apparently Julia Roberts. She apparently sucked everyone's dick. Really? Yeah, and that's how she was able to climb the ranks. Good for her. Yeah, good for her. How yeah. do you like go about that? Like, if you were like in a position above me, would I just be like, hey, <laughs> can I suck hey, your dick? Hey, Jay, can I yeah. uh, suck your dick for a guest spot tonight? <laughs> I is think. that how it goes and then it's like all right if i suck your dick and lick your balls and your butthole you barter 10 minutes <laughs> i think now it's like way like no one wants to get caught in some weird shit they've kind of like ruined that marketplace damn it. uh yeah but i think back in the day it would be offered like you would get the offer oh. and then you can kind of be like yes or no on the offer you know marco oh. did say that the men in the industry like men are getting that offer too from other men being like mm. if you suck my dick i'll put you in this movie and really? things like that and he knows people who have been Sucking offered dick. that and if you're in that crew he's like i know you all suck dick yeah you know Damn. so if you think you look at like all of the movie posters you're like i know who you suck dick. dick dude i got offered 10k to shake my ass and have them smell my ass and shit uh by somebody did you do it? No. Why? That's easy. Shake your ass and smell. Yeah. Who cares, bro? <laughs> Fucking is the, what is that cheating to watch someone shake their ass and smell it? Come on. Have you ever fucked For a married 10, woman? dollars. Yes. Yes. So many. That's yeah. his thing. No, it's my thing. <laughs> <laughs> but is your it. king? No, no, it's not. There was actually one married lady who I, would, I was fucking. She's not married anymore, and that did ruin it a bit. Because I would, when I would fuck her, I would be like, "Yeah, you like fucking me more than your husband. Like your husband can't make you fucking come. Like bleh, 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 that that whole thing." I just liked because she was like very slutty about it and like like also very reckless about it like the way she like had gotten caught before and like just i, I like the idea that she was just so fucking horny that she couldn't not cheat on her husband and i just like the idea that i'm like you're such a fucking slut you need to fucking suck my dick and then she got divorced and you're like i'm good yeah i'm like what dude what you ruined it you ruined it yeah it's no fu- not fun anymore not fun bro i wonder if that's why my parents stopped fucking after my dad got a divorce Cause like my mom was like, it's not hot anymore. Mm. Oh yeah. She was like the one on the side trying to earn his love. And mm-hmm. she's like, got it. Now this is lame. Yep. Yeah. Now I'm going to give up my child. <laughs> Hell that's, yeah. That's why it's like, they talk about like, you know, everyone has like their fucking slot. Like sometimes you see like what, like you have, you have watched the Sopranos. No. I've watched like a couple episodes. So like they, in the Sopranos, like a lot of dudes have like the Gumar. So they have like a chick on the side or mm-hmm. something. And not, this isn't, I'm not talking about like a specific scenario in the Sopranos, but there's this idea. It's like you have your Gumar and sometimes that chick, like your side chick is like, I want to be the main chick. But then when she moves in, like if she fights for that spot and then she moves in that spot, it ruins the whole ecosystem. Mm-hmm. It's like you, you are the Gumar. When you move up, you won't even like being in the main spot. Cause now you got to do main spot shit. Yep. You and then like, you're getting yeah. cheated on. Yeah. And then you're, mm-hmm. it's like, dude, it's like, like the everything has to work in the right ecosystem to fit into its the grass slot. is always greener on the other side exactly dude exactly bro and maybe like your husband you're like he fucking has this mistress but you wouldn't even like him if he didn't he's like he's gonna be like asking you for shit that the gumar does like there's a thing in fucking uh sopranos where a guy's talking to another guy and he's like oh yeah i got my gumar or whatever and he's like he's like what why do you have that and he's like yeah because i like i like fuck my gumar he's like would you have problems with your wife and he's like no, no, I, I don't have any problems with my wife. He's like, then why do you have the Gumar? He's like, because I do shit with her that I can't do with my wife. He's like, why can't you do with with, with your wife? Because she kisses my kids goodnight. That's why I can't do with my wife. Yeah. You're not going to piss on your wife and then, yeah, you know. <laughs> and then she's like tucking your son in. Yeah. But I don't think that's true. I mean, you could. you could. People you could do probably. piss on their wife and then they do tuck their kids in. Uh, I've, uh, I've, one of my friends who I hook up with occasionally, she was telling me about how she's like a... I can't remember what the word she used for it, like uh, a play thing or some shit like that uh, for a couple. Uh, there are a couple, they do porn and stuff, and basically she's a cuck, and he, and so she likes when he fucks other people, and so they'll bring in other girls, and then they'll do like threesome scenes and stuff. And so she c- 
comes in for them and like acts as like another girl and then he'll like fuck her in front of his wife and his wife just like masturbates watching them. It's kind of hot. It's kind of like I do like that. that. That's a, hot. Like a glorious setup. Like kinda the scene glorious. from 365 where she's like tied on the bed. She's like tied up, can't move, and then he sits in front of her and she's like he's like you don't want to fuck me? Fine. And then another girl comes in and he makes her watch like getting head. I was like I need to go masturbate after that yeah. scene. That was hot. Some good shit. Some good shit, dude. There's something about like earning somebody. When I'm when I masturbate, I think about all the guys I fucked. <laughs> this is so fucked. In a room and I'm tied up and they have to like earn me and they take their turns. Mm. <laughs> dude, that's And so I come instantly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah if i had all the dudes i fucked in one room that that would be like a full room and they're just worshiping me much. they're like jamie i need your pussy what can i do to earn it and i'm like ha, ha. that's that's your fave i love it mm. mm-hmm. I've almost, but i would never do that mm. you know maybe i've almost tripled my body count since you told me to be a slut <laughs> nice dude it was a success I'm, <laughs> i dude if you, anyone who hangs around me long enough they just start slotting up right? <laughs> so i'm like, slowing down though but please tell me what's uh, what's your body count on now <laughs> uh 11 that's not that much dude it that's feels not- like a lot when you come from nothing yeah 11 is not a lot <laughs> I, she was like i'm a slut now my body counts 11 i go emily <laughs> shut up yeah dude like i feel like 11 not even like like i feel like that's enough to be like oh you know i kind of was out there at like one point because you got to like think about like when you're like an old lady and you're like dried up are you gonna yeah. be like regretting not getting more dick that's the that's what you gotta think yeah, about. what did you learn about getting more dick like, what'd you learn about yourself? What do you learn about what you want? Like, that I don't want more dick. I want love. So, doesn't that suck? She was talking about that before we got the pod going when you were getting ready. She's like, I want to fall in love. And I was like, shut up, dude. <laughs> I think we both shut said that mouth. to you the last time you were here. We're yeah. like, we're done dating, which I, we haven't really uh, been dating. The only time I hook up with people, like, I'm not hooking up with people I like, like. Do you know what I mean? Like, Mm -hmm. it's almost easier to fuck people I don't care about Mm -hmm. because the ones I care about, I'm like, oh, I don't want to fuck this up. Mm -hmm. And I feel like sex fucks it up. Mm -hmm. So I'm like taking my time with those people and then fucking people on the side. And then guys do not like that. But it helps me. Am I emotionally unavailable? Is that what I'm (laughs) No, but I can understand why a dude wouldn't like, like if if you're like, I really like you, but I don't have sex with you. And then you're fucking other dudes. I'd be like, fuck out. Like, what the fuck am I? What the well, fuck? that's why you don't tell them. Yeah, but yeah, if yeah, they yeah, tell me they like them. me and then I fuck them and then they don't talk to me, like that fucks me up. Whereas if it's somebody I know is going to be a dick about it or maybe like they don't want anything serious, You're just trying to get we can weave in and out and it's not, there's no like anger or like, why didn't you do this? Mm-hmm. But if I like you and that happens, now I'm like pissed and yeah. now I don't want to fuck you at all because yeah. I know every time we fuck, I'm going to get closer to you. Yeah. You know, no, but I'm slowing down. I'm gonna, I'm gonna lock down a lady soon. I was You're, gonna say you wanted a girlfriend the last time we chatted. Yeah, yeah, I'm, lo- I'm uh, everyone's auditioning. Do you have now. a potential? Uh, there's a couple potentials in there. Oh yeah, there's everyone's auditioning now. Everyone's like, in, like in the slot of like, mm, are you are you gonna be that person? Okay, so, what um, are the traits that you're looking for? Uh, okay, the traits. Okay, what are like some positive? I like, I don't like too woke. Too woke is like, like I we got to be able to fucking say some fucked up shit. Yeah. Like there needs we need to be able to fuck around. Yeah. If that's too like, I can't be like walking on eggshells or changing. Like obviously, like I'm a fucking person of color. I'm a, I feel like I'm a progressive person, mm-hmm. but I'm still a fucking comic. And so yeah. it's like, we got to be able to fuck around, yep. dude. So that's a definitely a thing that I owe, like, especially when you're dating in New York. And it's fine if those, those are your political things. My whole thing is like, I don't give a fuck what other people do. I think we should all be able to live around each other and have different ideas, different thoughts, and not hate each other. Mm-hmm. So if you're different, it's like, fine, but we're just not going to date, you know? Um, what else is something? Uh, so you want someone like progressive, not too progressive, has a sense of humor. Yeah. I also like, this is like, I like like, uh, foreign Western exposed or something or like Western foreign exposed. Like if you're like straight up suburban white chick, I can't do that all the time. Like Are you a passport bro? No, I'm not a passport bro. No, no but no, you, no. Want, you want them to be like cultured. Like, well, cultured, but yeah, like it's like if you're just like a straight up, like been suburbia the entire time, you, especially in the West, you can be like a little entitled. Mm-hmm. A little like, a, like that's what a Karen is. That's like, are you like the product that will develop into a Karen? I don't like, I'm, I'm looking out for that. Like I, I it doesn't matter what race I'm encountering. There's just, it's more of like a, a, like an unexposed upbringing that like in your head, you feel like you're entitled to a lot of shit. It's like, I can't be fucking doing that. They, they got to have their shit kind of in order too. Like uh, some sort of career path, something focused, some things uh, like uh, uh, put together. 
Um, like I, I'm not going to be like fucking doing the heavy lifting on everything, you know? Uh, fucking what else? So you want a partner? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like we're going to be fucking hanging out and doing shit. Uh, but yeah, the, the like those are are like a, a lot of the pluses, I would say. Okay. Yeah. What about like personality wise? Like, um, I mean, that's it's hard to like fucking like what, what do you, you pinpoint someone's personality? It's like obviously we want to be able to laugh and like have a good time and joke around, but it's like uh, like saying like funny is like I don't necessarily know if it's like. Well, I, I did somebody who like we had fun when mm-hmm. we were together, and when we went out, we would have fun, but they were a more quiet like low-key person i could tell that their sense of confidence just in general overall state of being Mm -hmm. wasn't as much there and there were some times where i would want somebody to almost like be a man in a situation like Mm -hmm. you don't have to be like oh all the time Mm -hmm. but sometimes i need you to do that and if you can't have that i've like i thought it was okay to not have that i'm like oh i can work with this Mm -hmm. but in the end of the day i was like oh no i actually kind of need this Mm -hmm. i like okay secure is something that's very important like Mm -hmm. insecure is like like, uh, like I went on, I hooked up with this girl a few times. And then one time when we hooked up, I was like kind of drunk and I didn't come. And she's like, you didn't come. And I was like, yeah, I'm just like fucking, I'm a little drunk. I'm not going to come this time. And she goes, are you sure? It wasn't my performance. And like, was like, I'm like, uh, I was like, cut, you're cut. Like, that's like, yeah, it's like, I can't deal with that. Whatever that's in you right now, you got to go do the work on that and fix that. And then like, come back. Not to me, but like, I don't. <laughs> Not to me. But yeah, I don't, I don't want to work through whatever that thing is. Cause that you're, you're touring, through. like you're going to be out and about. And if she's jealous and insecure, it's going to. It's like, yeah, it's like, I don't need that. That is like, you don't have to be like the most secure fucking uh, uh, work through all your problems. Have no fucking, you're like, you're a monk or some shit, but there's certain insecurity things where I'm like, I, yeah, I don't want that to be the catalyst for your shit. Um, yeah. Are you looking for an open relationship? I don't know. I don't, I, I've never like, I, I've said this on, on like pods a lot before where like, I don't know if that would ever work for me. Like mm-hmm. I do get jealous. Um, but yeah, I don't, I like, I mean, maybe you could like float the idea around and see if it works, see if it doesn't. But, uh, I also don't even know if I have the energy for that right now. Like I, I, there's a lot of time, like at this weekend, we're just doing fucking shows in Florida. I, every like new pussy that came around, I was like, I'm in bed. Like I'm fucking I'm I'm going to bed, dude. Yeah. yeah. And I'm like uh I think people misconstrue uh like who I am based on the content I make. Mm-hmm. I think like I love pussy and sex and like the the uh, the concepts of sex and how relationships work and how they come together. But I think people think that relates to me being like a crazy party guy too. I like to party when it's applicable. Mm-hmm. But like I'm like cut out the middleman. Just fucking come to the hotel room and like let's fuck and like let's I'd go out for drinks. No. Like, I just want to fuck. So you're having sober sex? Yeah. I know. I've been having sober sex, too. It's actually nice. I think for me to get, like, super freaky, like, if I'm going to be dirty with somebody, I got to be, like, I have to have something to drink because then, like, it gets rid of all those, like, inhibitions, I guess. Because I'm not having sex all the time where I can just be like, yeah, I already, I'm locked in. I already know what to do. Like, I have to feel it out. And it takes rid of all of those, like, weird nerves. Yeah. But... Like the last person I had sex with, we had sex like five or six times and most of them were sober because they like weren't a big party person either. They were mm. like, drinks? No, like let's just fuck. And I'm yeah. like, all right, cool. And I was like, I could do that. And it ended up being like so good, mm. like naturally. But the first time I had to be drunk because I was like autistic as fuck in yep. the beginning, like cracking jokes into his dick. And he's like, you're so weird. I'm like do you want to have sex with me or not shut up and let me have my moment like i just get so awkward when i'm first like the first especially time if i like someone i'm even weirder so yeah. i feel like t- having that edge taken off i'm like okay i can suck your dick and like go to town there's definitely a happy medium where like you can be have like the perfect amount of drinks where you're like kind of in like a flow state of fucking and going yeah. from thing mm-hmm. to thing but there's also times where like i'm like oh i do like i just fucked this girl and um I when I was uh, we were fucking and I was on top of her and then I like got up and like folded her legs like a way up and I started eating her pussy oh. and I was really like focusing on like sucking her clit and then like she was like getting all like vibrating and stuff and then I can't like v- just like one fluid motion mo- motion motion <laughs> went from like eating her pussy to fucking her again and like like her legs are up and like pinning her down like that and I was like that was a sober thought I thought of like uh, like we're gonna pull this off right now and i was like i've never done that before but she she seemed to dig 
good. See, I feel like that's oh, my shit. drunk thoughts. Like even so, I think people misconstrue our personalities too because we talk about sex all the time. Mm-hmm. Obviously, why we like flow so well together. Mm-hmm. Um, and then they think that I'm like this crazy fuck. Yeah. Like they think they're like, oh, she's gonna do crazy shit and stuff. And I'm like, it actually takes like a while for me to get there. Yeah. Uh, like I just e- even if I'm doing like OnlyFans live, if I'm sober. I'm like so boring, but I have one fan who pays me a lot of money just to get hammered on camera. Okay. So he'll be like, he'll make me finish a whole bottle of wine in 20 minutes. It'll be like a hundred dollars, fill your bottle, like fill your glass. And I do that. And he'll be like $50, take, like drink half of it. And I do that. And it's like within five minutes, I just got $400 and I'm two like glasses deep. Yeah. And then I'm like, all right, let's do this. And I'm dancing and I'm sh- like spreading my ass. I'm doing crazy shit. Cause I'm like, Woo! Like I feel good right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. You're, so I like if I had to do that with a man having a couple of glasses of wine. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not like against the fucking getting drunk and getting down. It's just I've been like I'm boozing way less right now. There's a lot of stuff where I'm just like, uh, uh, like I'm giving less energy to that. You know, like I want to focus mm-hmm. on other shit. I think yeah, all you, of our friends are going sober. Yeah, yeah, we're and we barely have been like smoking either. Yeah. The only reason I'm vaping, like I quit, and then the person I was having sex was here, and I didn't vape for like five days i didn't vape for five days oh shit sorry um and then i was like why am i so bloated and i hadn't been able to shit in like four days and i go i'm about to get laid like i have to be skinny and like feel comfortable and good and empty (laughs) and so i was i picked up vaping again just so i could shit and have sex so we found, Jesus. I told this story on the podcast, how I shit myself at New York Boys House. Um, yeah. And I realized last week, a year later, that you're the reason why I shit myself at a man's house. Well, you <laughs> lined it up bad. That was that <laughs> partly your fault. I You told me you couldn't shit. And I said, I'm going to make you shit. It dude. had been five days and I couldn't shit. I didn't yeah. know I was going to see him. Yeah, okay. You true. You didn't know you were going to see him. But I fucking, yeah, I made you a concoction of stuff that will make you shit. And it wasn't anything too crazy. It gave you like two magnesium pills and then um, a salt water with lemon in it. And that fucking, yeah, it makes you I shit. I was shitting for days <laughs> <Yeah>. after <laughs> like explosive diarrhea. I think it's because you were so backed up. Because usually that'll last like a couple shit and then you're done. No. Nope. But yeah, no, you. It was all at once. Yeah. And I trusted a fart at his house and it and just like, eked out, bro. Yeah. Oh, no. I did that. I remember I was like, so many people talk shit about us in comedy. I go, I go, I'm going to tell you the story about how I shit my pants before a comedy show. And I was like, I, fa- I was sick and I farted in my car <laughs> as I'm pulling into the garage. Like, and they're like, you're about to go on in 10 minutes. And I realized I had shit myself and I was like, Love fuck. That. And I had a bag in my car of clothes and everything. I run to the McDonald's, clean up, change, run to uh, the Middle East in Cambridge. Yeah. And uh, as I'm walking in the door, they're like, and Jamie Lee Simmons. And I get on stage and like do my set. And if that doesn't show dedication to stand up, I don't know what does. That is, that is dedication, man. You can't say we aren't dedicated to the art of stand up. (laughs) Fuck you. Yeah, dude. We'll shit our pants and do it. And still do it. Not canceling the spot. Not going to cancel the spot. Yeah. No, I'm not canceling the spot. I'm going to get up and get my three minutes I just drove an hour for. I went on stage right before my gallbladder was exploding and i didn't know and he was like are you sure you still want to go on and i was like yeah i'm committed i committed to the set i'm going on stage i go on stage hunched over the whole time get off stage go to the emergency room she leaves 10 hours later i'm having surgery yeah she leaves though she goes i'm going home i don't feel good i'm like okay five minutes later she calls me she's like i'm on my way to the emergency room i'm like what and then she calls me an hour later i'm getting surgery right now and i'm like i'm still at the show that's crazy good for you guys though dude i've been watching so much anime that's like big what's I just your got favorite back, um favorite of all time that's tough i think my favorite Did one one piece just got put on right isn't that an anime one piece is an anime that's, but, that's on netflix now yeah, oh, yeah. but it, one piece has been running for like a long time like 15 years or something one piece is like it's like a One Piece and Dragon Ball Z are like compete for the most popular anime of all time. Um, cause is I One Piece like Grey's Anatomy where the fans are like, it's gone on for too long. Like, let's just end it. I'm not super in the One Piece zeitgeist, but there's fucking over a thousand episodes of One Piece. Like, if you want to get into One Piece, you're like, okay, I'll watch five episodes a day for like two years. <laughs> like, yeah, it's, it's, 
Uh, it's long, but it's a, there's a few marathon ones like that, like Naruto. There's One Piece. There's Dragon Ball Z. It never this one never got turned. Well, it got turned to an anime, but it never took off. There's Berserk. Berserk has like so many mangas that have just gone on forever. There's a few like that that are just like, oh yeah, they'll never end. Pokemon. Pokemon has like fucking like twenty something seasons, dude. Like yeah. Um, but I uh, Demon Slayer is worth getting into. Demon Slayer fucking cooks, dude. That one fucking rules. And I just got back from Japan too. Went How to was Japan. that? Japan ruled, man. It was so fun. Did you so- fuck any Japanese? No, ladies? that was definitely a goal. Didn't fuck any Japanese chicks. It's hard when you don't speak Japanese, right? Yeah, but aren't you like a icon there because you're black? No, don't they, they look uh, at black people like they're like, oh my god. I, so everyone talks about like people. They'll be like, can I touch your hair and shit? That never happened. And also, may, I think that's more maybe China. Um, because the Japanese people are very reserved and very polite. So they would like never come up to you and be like, can I touch your hair or something like that? They're like super, like they're very conservative in a lot of stuff. Like there was no sluts, no sluts. Like chicks were all wearing like baggy clothes, long dresses. And it's, it's summer, it was hot out, but people, the dudes too. everyone like wears no clothing that really reveals their body. When you would see a girl in like tights, it stuck out huge. Everyone's skinny, small. And like, no one was like, there was no big people at all. Like not even like jacked people. There's really? just like, no, everyone is like a tiny person. Um, like a lot of them, like no one's like super short, like all like regular height, but very like thin. Thin, thin, thin. Damn. I would stick out like a sore thumb there. Yeah, with your fat tits. Yeah. Dude, those Imagine fat- if I bring these out in Japan, I would get shot immediately. Dude, we Dude. got called out four times at a comedy show last night in the audience. Oh, really? Like, well, for, we went to um, Dale. What's his last name? Dale Elliott Jr. So oh. he's like a Jamaican comedian. He's only been on stage for a year. This dude is phenomenal. Yeah. Like his storytelling and the weaving of jokes, like, and he told us after he was like, "Yeah, I just came up with half of that on the spot. Half of his hour was like on the spot. He was, I don't like repeating jokes. He's like, he was, I feel like people are t- afraid to take risks. He spoke the whole comedy show was in patois. Oh shit! And so we and we were cracking up because like we were picking up on like how like what he was saying and everything. Yeah. There was a few things that we missed, but it yeah. was so funny. We we're the only white people in the crowd. Maybe yeah. one other old lady who was like dating a Jamaican guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And we're with like our friends. And the first thing is like the host comes out and then immediately he's like, yo, your tits are out. Like, look at her tits and points to Emily and he go, he's like exclamation point on those. And he's like, you know, there's kids here. Right. (laughs) And like, we forgot because we've been to Jamaica and we should have known this. We were running out of the house like late. But they're very like you have to be conservative. Okay. Yeah, we got kicked out of like a K- KFC for not having <laughs> enough clothes on. Really? Yeah. Like we, like the shorts were too short and like. Wow. Yeah. There so there was a dude with guns telling me to pull my t-shirt to cover my ass. Like yeah. it was AK a lot. For, it was yeah. crazy. So yeah. I was like, fuck. At the moment that he called us out, I was like, oh, we're in the wrong spot. Everyone like was staring at us, and then we vape like Emily hit the vape, and then the fucking security immediately like didn't even blow it out. She yeah. zeroed it is flashing the light in a in a closed theater like a dark theater yeah and he's like vape now You're like give me the vape and we're like what the fuck and then the other girl with us like put her phone out to record she got yelled at yeah. and then what else did we get called out in this oh i laughed and i have a really loud laugh and he goes who the fuck laughed and everybody yeah. starts pointing like in my direction i'm like no it was not me and i was Damn. like it would be the two white people in the whole theater that's just causing a fucking ruckus yeah. i was like oh no dude but it's miami it's like people have their tits out it's like welcome to town you well, were like in up coral north. springs oh, up okay, north okay. that's why i was like hey we're coming down if you yeah. guys are do- if you're gonna like go to the bar next door yeah, yeah, yeah um which usually people do i was like we'll stop by and get a drink but yeah. um we ended up just driving straight home no no by the time i even saw your message it was an hour later and we were just wrapping up and then i was like going to bed let's talk about poop guy poop guy take oh, it away Emmanuel macron Dude, did you hear about this? this oh, the is, French. Yeah, the French poop mob. Yeah. Dude. So what happened? Because I didn't hear the update. So I just the, knew they were going to shit in, in the, the river ri- yeah. while he was going to swim in it. So th- he backed out of swimming in the river. He backed out of it. Yeah, yeah, dude. He like He's like, oh, yeah, political reasons. I can't fucking swim in the river. It's like, no, because everyone in France was going to shit on, literally shit on you. They timed literally. it perfectly. They were like, if you go to this spot and shit at this time, it will hit him perfectly in the river, the river while he's swimming. swimming. And I'm yeah. like, the French are crazy with dude, their the protests. French take yeah. down their governments. Dude. I love that. Yeah, no, the, the French, out of all the shit they do, the French can be like very pompous and very entitled. But when it comes to fucking protesting, they're by far the best. They do it. Yeah. Yeah. better than anyone they're protesting take and bread that's what they do yeah would you swim in the shit river no 
I would fucking I would if I was Emmanuel Macron, I wouldn't even say political reasons. I'd be like, everyone wants to take a shit on me. We're trying to do something nice for the Olympics. And I you know, I just don't want to swim in shit, guys, so I'm not gonna do it. Like I, I don't know why I, I would maybe acknowledge to the city, like, why do you want to shit on me? Because I don't know the polit- like politics did, behind it. Did people end up actually shitting in the river already, or were they just kind of waiting for that day to shit? I don't know. I don't like, know. Like, cause th- is there shit in the river now for the Olympics? Like have uh, people shit in it? I think people might have shit in it. I think part of the reason why people were pissed and I could be wrong on this because I haven't really done my research uh, was because it costs like a billion dollars to clean it. So they were kind of like, you're spending a billion dollars to fucking clean this river. And we have like bed bugs all over Paris. Like they're probably like just like pissed of the money allocation. And people think just hate the Olympics in general because it's very like every city loses millions every, of dollars. Every city loses. And there's a lot of like sketchy shit going on with people like lining their pockets with the money coming mm-hmm. through. And it's just like scammy shit of like the rich get richer type shit yeah. off of this, uh, thing um like i think in uh brazil last time they did the summer olympics like it it led to the downfall of the city that they did it in and they i think they like uh they like bulldozed a bunch of uh, favelas and shit and like a bunch of people were already living in like a squalor like lost their fucking homes and shit so yeah that's fucked yeah very fucked so i can i could just be a protest against the olympics in general and and also you get a a chance to shit on your political leader you gotta take if it I if they're on biden i would yeah. that's what i'm saying like why don't we like shit in front of people's houses like take poops on their I lawn do. Or yeah like i feel like americans should just do that if you oh, like don't like a, a congressperson or like the president go shit on their lawn everyone yeah. takes a dump in the morning before they wake up and then they walk out and their lawn's just covered in shit people aren't worked up enough yet and i don't know if we're gonna get there i think this ai stuff is gonna shift us back into a like a brighter future like i think it's gonna you think solve that's gonna bring goodness Look how positive to us? He is. Yeah. no i think i, I mean uh, people are afraid of it but it's like it's in, for one it's inevitable yeah. it's fucking coming yeah it's coming but this is like this is gonna be like oh reliving something like the fucking telephone or internet or the computer it's gonna like, revolutionize society it's gonna be fucking crazy mm-hmm. and i think it's gonna be for the better hopefully it's gonna be in our lifetime too like we're gonna oh, be yeah. old and there's gonna be like holograms in the sky I, we're living like the movies that i would watch as a kid i'm like oh we're in that and it seems so far away and do you see how like quickly it's advancing yes like, do yeah. you see some like exponentially shit? Yeah. well have you like, heard about that theory of singularity no there was some dude who theorized about AI back in like the 70s or 80s and he said exactly that, that it's going to happen exponentially and it's by 2030, he said AI is going to completely take over and we're on the timeline that he based back like 60, 70 years ago. So he was like, by 2030, humanity's fucked. I don't think it's fucked though. I think what AI, like it's uh, there, the way someone per- put it was like AI will always be imperfect and humans will always be imperfect. And so AI is always going to be this tool that we like work together to solve problems. Like the AI needs the prompts for us to solve the things for us to like, and also the, say if AI, what if it did go rogue or something mm-hmm. like that? Or if it like fucking was like this thing that has all the information in the world, this, the concept of us even like, we're afraid of it. Cause like, oh, it's going to try to make us go extinct. It's going to try and do whatever for us to even think that we would know what this thing wants is just human ego. Or that it uh, even wants anything. It doesn't we're need anthropomorphizing to it. It doesn't need to eat. Mm-hmm. doesn't need any of the things that like drive our motivations. And for us to think like, I know what it's, it's going to, it's, it's just fear of not not knowing which is that's normal but you we can't even conceive what this thing would want to do it'll be a god um so it, crazy are you big into conspiracies i love conspiracy what's theories. your favorite conspiracy Ooh, i like adrenochrome adrenochrome's a good one. Oh, that's that a great one i love i think that's dude on our uh stream we're talking about adrenochrome so much and i had this riff about like a dystopian future where they have like commercials for adrenochrome and they have this like mascot called adrena kid and he's like i love adrenochrome <laughs> <laughs> and he like is pitching it to like kids to like give up their life to like go to the adrenochrome factories like nothing is better than selling your life to be part of the adrenochrome factory (laughs) 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 they've tried to like convince people that like giving up your children to like be fucking killed for adrenochrome is like the greatest thing i can see that happening people will just have babies to do that like Like, there'll be no more trafficking it will just be people birthing their own children to to, like prolong their life yeah to or to to give them to the illuminati to be like i I donate my child to the like i have a hundred thousand dollars yeah 
and like Damn. We, we made this uh we have an emote where if you get if you subscribe to a certain level in the stream and he's called adrena kid and he's <laughs> fucking it's this kid screaming he's like ah because you know how they say they get adrenochrome they like children's fear yeah, yeah from their fear and they like torture them to death and then they pull it out of their pineal gland like they have to die like from like being, extreme yeah being scared to death basically so it's a kid screaming and his third eye is open and there's like light coming out of it <laughs> how much do you have to donate to get that who created this for you you had somebody draw no, uh, my, the guy who i co-stream with cameron cameron phoenix he made that yeah no i think you if you just sub you get it i think if you just sub to the, <laughs> you get a dream a kid that's yeah. That's so funny. Adrena you should kid create rules. a comic book based off that. Based off of Adrena Kid. That would dude. be kind of sick. Yeah. No, I think Adrena Chrome's funny. If anyone's on Adrena Chrome, it's uh, Jennifer Lopez. Jennifer Lopez is getting juiced up with the Chrome. Well, I, yeah. I noticed since 2020 when all of that stuff started coming out publicly because yeah. of TikTok, that all of those people that we were like, they're on Adrena Chrome, they're all aged so fast in the last three years and oh, they yeah. all look ugly as fuck you think they're aging them? and i'm yeah. like oh they're out of children oh they've run out of kids they've run say. out of kids mm, see i don't actually believe in adrenochrome i don't think it's a real thing you don't no i don't think there's some fountain of youth in kids brains yeah, but they talk about like um how baby foreskin is yeah. actually really good for like skincare so it's yeah. using a lot of skincare products so people are doing that and that's like the underground like the whole uh, concept of uh, circumcision. Yeah. And there's like, you know how they sell women's placentas after they give birth? It's like yeah. $60,000 a placenta. It's the same thing with kids' foreskin, baby I, foreskin. I do think that there's like stem cell shit for sure. Like I think I think there's healthy shit in stem cells and these different things that rich people are probably for sure doing. I don't think they're, like there's definitely trafficking going on and kids are getting kidnapped. I don't know if they're fucking mining them for adrenochrome. I don't know. If what about like the stories on. though of people who came out and they were like, I was a part of a satanic cult and I watched kids get murdered. Like Ryan Garcia. Um, yeah. I don't necessarily believe his. I mean, like talking about like firsthand accounts of like the kids who were in it grew up. I think, I think there is like cults and shit out there for sure. I just don't, if people are doing that practice of like, if it's a small, small percentage of people that are probably doing it because they heard about adrenochrome through fucking conspiracy theories. Yeah. I don't think that it actually does anything. I don't think this weird thing they're talking about in the uh, a pineal gland does anything. Have you had any like uh, close encounters with like Illuminati shit or like weird people higher up asking you to go to parties or anything? Um, nothing like Illuminati, but I've definitely had like weird encounters with like rich people for sure. There's this one dude, I won't say who he is at all, but he was like, he, uh, he came to a show and he was like hanging out with me after the show. And he is, is, is it was like a huge person, not a comic, just like uh, someone who's like big, uh, in, in a space that I won't mention, but yeah, not in comedy. Um, and he was kept pitching his like lifestyle. He's like, yeah, I live in a mansion, da, da, da. And he was like, have you ever fucked a porn star? And at this time I hadn't. And I was like, no, I haven't. And he was like, oh, you're going to fuck so many porn stars. You got to come to these parties that I go to and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. He was just like hanging around. And then a bunch of us went out for drinks after. So there was a bunch of girls at the show we met. And he was like, kind of like, he was talking to the girl, like pitching me, like being like, yeah, he's so great. Da, da, da. Trying to seem like he's like wingmanning and stuff. But just the way he was talking to me was like strange. Uh, and, um, I, after I left with one of the girls and she was like, did you know him? I was like, that's my first time meeting him. Uh, and she was like, it seemed like he wanted to fuck you. And I was like, yeah, it seemed like he was trying to fuck me the whole time. It seemed like a fucking Diddy situation. That's what it seemed like. Was really? he hitting like, on you? It, it just the way he was like hanging around and stuff and talking to me. It's se- and he's pitching, yeah, you got to come over and all this stuff. We go to just the, school the way parties. he was fingering my butt. Like, <laughs> really made it seem like he liked me, dude. He was talking to me. And he was just like this the whole time. <laughs> but it just seemed like he's like, oh yeah, I lived this fabulous lifestyle. You got to come hang out with me. And it seemed like this Diddy. Like I'm like, oh, I could see how Diddy would pitch this. Like. He he was sex trafficking you. I don't think sex trafficking. I think he was just trying to fuck me. But he's like selling himself as a straight guy. But I think he was trying to fuck me. And I, and this girl who I had just met also picked up on this. And I was like, yeah, wasn't that? Didn't you get that vibe? Interesting. Yeah. So that's you just, ex- the- you just experienced girl talk for the first time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're How like, did that feel? That sounds like <laughs> hanging out with any man above us. Yeah. They're like, oh, was he trying to fuck me? Was he trying to fuck you, dude? Yeah, like, dude. Yeah. But guys are usually trying to fuck. How much would it take for you to fuck a guy? To fuck a guy? Mm-hmm. A lot dude because it's just like i just don't want to do it and i also don't there's like nothing i'm really wanting for i need to make like a little bit more money than i'm making now 
and pay off some stuff. Like my trip to Japan really fucking, I saw how cheap everything was over there and how everyone's like, the Japanese work super hard, but how some like expats and shit are living. And I'm seeing all the, I get a lot of content of like people living in Bali who like work remote and they like spend fucking 500 bucks a month on the rent and live in a gigantic penthouse. And part of me is like, what the fuck am I doing? Well, what that's why I- we're going to Austin and not New York or LA. Yeah. We can get a five bedroom house, 2,000, 2,500 square feet, for like three thousand dollars, it's with like a yard, dude. That's and it's a, beautiful. I'm like looking at all this stuff, and I'm like, like this doesn't make sense. There's I'm kind of getting scammed sometimes. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, I got to make like a little bit more money than I'm making. I got to get a pod going because a pod gives you a lot of freedom yeah. to like record wherever and like upload wherever. Get a good Patreon going, and I think I'd be like really good on a pod, just a solo pod. Mm-hmm. And then I want to be able to like fuck off for a couple months every year. So like, yeah, my point with that is like, there's. I don't know what you could give me to get me to fuck a dude because I don't want to. And so, like, I'm, like, I'm getting to the point where I'm, like, I know what I want, going to lock down the lady, going to fucking make a little bit more cash, and I'm going to start, like, I'll be in New York. I'm not leaving there because stand-up's always the goal, always the passion. Mm -hmm. But then I'm going to start going to, like, fucking Spain or Portugal or fucking Thailand or Bali or wherever for a couple months every year and just fuck off. Hell yeah. Yeah. I love that. That Sounds fucking sick, dude. That's so nice. Yeah. That and sounds I, sick. Yeah, it's like why, like, because uh, uh, I see, like, all respects to the fucking huge comics out there, and they're fucking working super hard, and they deserve everything they got, but they never stop working. Never. They, never, they never. It's exhausting. They never stop working. It's like, you're working just to work? It's like, bro, I'm working to chill. I'm yeah. Like, I want to chill a bit. Yeah. I love chilling, dude. Who I doesn't? know. Yeah. When we were, like, crushing it on OnlyFans, I guess we weren't in comedy I took a break and then she wasn't in it yet. Yeah. And every day was a chill day and I was making great money that I was like, this is the life. Yeah. But then you also like, there is a healthy balance of maintaining that work. Cause sometimes if you chill for too long, you can lose it if you don't maintain relevancy no, and stuff. That's like that. That's the thing is like, I'm still working. It's not just like, I never want to work again. It's just, I want to have the balance where I'm going to make a certain amount of money that I feel like is enough for me to do what I want. I want my craft to be as good as it possibly can. I want stand up to be solid. I want like the sketches and stuff I make to be solid. And then I want to be have the freedom to fuck off. I'm not interested in being a multi-millionaire superstar person. I want to fucking just make a potent, awesome product that a group of people connect with super hard mm-hmm. and then fuck off for a bit. Yeah, I love yeah. that. Chill, dude. Good I want to chill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take some lady around the fucking world and like fuck her in different places on the beach. Boom. Go wow, surfing. you've grown so much since the last podcast. <laughs> it's so nice to see. It's been a few years, I think. You're growing up. I think I'm tired. I think you were on. Were you on last year? I th- no. I think it's been a couple of years. I think I was 30 last time I was here. I'm 32 now. Oh shit. Yeah. So you were on twice, like early on. Yeah, then. you had me back to back pretty quick. Okay. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I'm tired now. I'm I'm running out of steam on stuff. The pussy isn't as sweet as it was before. The fucking party's not as sweet as it was before. I never thought I would hear you say this. Yeah, I like, know. No, like I'm like I need to fucking pull back and like there's other stuff that are like like the trip to Japan was so good. Me and my boy just hanging out, going around, checking stuff out, like fucking just being like. It wasn't fun. a work trip. It was a fun. It was trip. a fun trip. I did oh. some shows out there just because I could. Um, How was the comedy there? It, I mean, there's one English speaking comedy club, and it was like a lot of military dudes. So it's like it's fucking it's an audience I normally get, anyways. Yeah. Um. But uh, yeah, I I just was like, yeah, I like I got to be able to do this way more. I got it because especially there was this dude who I was talking to. He um, this Brazilian comic, Rafi, super fucking funny guy, and I met him for the first time. And he was talking about I think flying to, back and forth from Brazil or flying somewhere. And he's like, "Yeah, I can't really do it." He's a big guy though. He's probably like six five or six six. He's like, "I can't really do it. Like it's uncomfortable to sit on a plane for a long time." And he's not that much older than me. Mm-hmm. I think he's in his forties. And so it's like I'm like there'll be a point where you can't fucking sit on a plane for 10, 12 hours where it's yeah. too uncomfortable, where your body's too ragged. And I don't think that's coming like super soon um but i want to take advantage of this time i have now yeah dude i know i want to just like i want one person where i can fuck around travel the world Mm -hmm. work but like co-do it yeah you know and it's like it's it's not fun i don't even like going on dates and no i hate going on dates before i got into stand-up my kind of the direction i was going in was i was working in tourism and if i didn't start doing stand-up i would have just learned more languages 
And then if you can speak four languages, you can work in almost like any hotel in the world and just like bounce around doing stuff. What language is? Um, well, now I'm practicing Japanese. I'm okay. so I'm, I've been on my Japanese pretty hard, just dueling going like 20 minutes to an hour every day. Uh, cause that one, I'm like, I watch so much anime that I won't probably won't lose it. Cause that's mm. a big thing. Like if you're going to use, I lost Spanish. Yeah. If Me you too. don't, if you don't use it, you kind of lose it with languages. So I'm like, Japanese would be a good one. My French is ass. Cause I kind of lost my French, but then I'm like, I'll learn Spanish because Spanish is one where I can, I can use that in New York. I can use that down here. Mm-hmm. I can use that Anywhere. in so many different, it opens up a lot of countries. Mm-hmm. And then the other countries, like if you go to Thailand, they all speak English. If you go to like, you don't need to learn like, too many like um other languages yeah like uh like if i guess arabic would be a good one but i would do arabic arabic would be good but uh i'm gonna wait till the end on it because i i'm already learning a new alphabet with learning japanese and learning a new alphabet isn't the easiest thing in the world i can't believe you called me gay for wanting love but now you're looking for one lady to fuck around the world does he want love or does he want one lady i do it's gay when you do it not when i do it why? <laughs> because those are the rules. I don't make the rules. Dude, I know I, you do make the rules. Yeah. No. When I when I do it, it's like it's like it's like I'm growing and becoming a better person. When you and do when it, when I do it, you're, you're settling. You're, <laughs> you're gay, dude. You're you're being. Dude, lame. I'm not settling. I'm gonna marry a wizard. Dude, a wizard. Yeah, <laughs> you're big on that wizard dick right now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna gargle that shit, bro. Dude. Have you learned anything like new about? sex since the last time you've been here mm. uh, tried any new things any new things i don't know if i've done anything anything crazy have you been fucked in the butt yet no i haven't been fucked in the butt i'm still like open to having my butt fingered i don't think i would ever get my butt fucked um but that does feel aggressive yeah and it's also like i just don't know if it does anything for me what if uh, someone put something in your ass while they were blowing you uh, yeah, like I, I mean, like get my butt fingered. But I'm talking I about like a dildo or something. I don't know about a dildo or something, dude. Like, um, I is I, it too vulnerable? I don't know if it's too vulnerable, but I also like I've never had the sensation, so I don't even know if I would be into it. But it's like, oh, you would got like work up in size and stuff. Like, I'm not gonna put that kind of work on my asshole, you know? Like, I'm just not that interested in it. Yeah. Um. So, like, yeah, to get a dildo in my ass is that's like that's time invested in it does stretching take a while. out my ass and i'm like not yeah emily and i have a butt slut that we facetime and he will squat on a dildo while we call him like a fucking gay boy and shit Crazy. he loves it he, he loves, loves it, it. Yeah. He texted me last night. I'm anytime I'm busy, babe. Yeah, anytime busy. we get like gaping butthole memes or like any butthole memes, we, we just send it to him. What did, he, what did he send me yesterday? Sometimes he just sends us pictures of his gaping asshole like this big. And we're like, I don't want to see that. He sent me this yesterday. His, <laughs> his poor swollen donut seat. Oh, that's yeah, a that, fucking that's, Dunkin' Donuts. That's what it bro. looks like. Yeah. <laughs> no, that shit gapes. Like I can see inside him. Yeah, I'm not interested in having like fucking my butthole stretched out. That seems fucking wild. I like. I think I would like to have the sensation of the finger in the butt to feel what like that prostate stimulation is because yeah. I've never had that. Wait, no one ever put their finger in your butt? No, I've never had a finger in my butt. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. I can't put my fingers in anyone's butts. You got nails for it. I yeah, got yeah. nails and these yeah. ones are a little, if I had round ones, I mean, <laughs> yeah. I have put my finger in someone's butt with a nail, but. Yeah, but yeah. All right, I just don't want anything in anyone's butt except for my tongue. I am not. So I just that- don't want hemorrhoids. Mm. <laughs> I'm like hitting an A. I don't want any of, I don't want you to like tear anything. Yeah. My buddy has hemorrhoids. I'm it's scared of anal fissures. You can get. You can I get hemorrhoids get, all the time. It's ooh, what really? Sometimes, yeah. Crazy, dude. Not all the time, but Your like. Butt well, is a battlefield. The- <laughs> my <laughs> butt is a battlefield. That's why I just I'm like, don't go near it, dude. Listeners at home, fucking grim. You know how many guys would be like, let me lick your hemorrhoid. I don't give a fuck. A lot of dudes would want to do that. Yeah. Uh. Che, do you have any last words for the people? Nothing crazy. I don't know. Fucking. Where are you uh, touring next? Where am I touring? Oh, yeah. I guess dates and stuff. When's this coming out? Tuesday. Tuesday? Uh, I'm going to be in La Jolla. I'm going to be in uh, Yonkers, New York. And I got San Antonio. Then we got Tempe and what's that fucking other place? Tempe and Tampa. Those are the ones coming up. Yeah. And after Tampa, he's going to be in your mom's. Yeah. So find him quick. And all right. And then, uh, guys, make sure to leave us a voicemail at 857-271-9663. Again, it's 857-271-9663. And leave us a five-star <laughs> written review on Apple Podcasts, five-star on Spotify, and comment on all of our shit. And uh, we're going to sign off, and Che's going to shave my asshole. Woo! So thank you for being here. Thank you for taking the the risk of looking at it and um you know i'm glad we could 
get to this point. It's three three three. I think this is a sign. All right. I'm going to put my finger in his ass and have a great week, guys. <laughs>